Hello, I'm Ryan Weber. Uh, welcome to my living room, and uh, I wanted to just give you a very brief look behind the scenes of a tiny little part of Alex vs. Nate 2. Now, why are we in my living room for this? Well, because as if you're watching this by now, you presumably have been able to see uh, Alex vs. Nate 2, uh, at the end of which I have a tiny cameo, and the hope is that you won't have known that I'm doing that cameo from my home in California while they're out there in uh, Nebraska doing their thing. And uh, we're setting up, of course, for uh, Ryan vs. Nate, which we're going to be shooting in the beginning of uh, November. Uh, very excited about that, but in the meantime, didn't feel like making the trip to shoot a shot, so uh, the hope is I'm going to be doing a flawless green screen composite and doing this cameo from here. So, here's the film. They have already shot it. They're in the midst of editing and uh, doing the visual effects, and so these are my two pieces of reference. This is where I'm going to be uh, in the room, presumably, and uh, Nate will be down there uh, defeated, but uh, of course he is impaled uh, by the mysterious figure who turns out to be me. Um, so this is the lighting I have to match, and uh, this is basically the, the same sort of thing that I need to, as seamlessly as possible, integrate myself into. So. Nate's going to uh, get me some plates when he's off work, and in the meantime, I'm shooting this. And I just wanted to sort of show you this setup and, and walk you through this a little bit because uh, because it amuses me. And uh, it's also a, a tiny little crash course in green screen um, setups. Um, as I said, I'm in my living room, and even though I've exploded out into the room a little bit, uh, all the while, this is actually fairly minimal impact. Uh, my fiance Mickey and our friend Chloe are here, and uh, they're just playing Zelda. She's, she's not playing she, Zelda. Well, she's, she's on a menu, but you, you get the idea. So, so how do we set up a green screen shoot like this? What do we do? All right, well, one of the most important things uh, would be the camera. Here we have my very own red Scarlet, which I bought with my hard-earned money, which is very nice because that is what Alex and Nate have shot on, so that's a match. Uh, and then right below it, we have a monitor. And of course, uh, the idea is, you know, you've got a monitor so you can see everything, make sure it's going okay. In my case, it's also just so that I can look at myself as I'm shooting to make sure I'm hitting focus, because the idea is I'm doing this very, very shallow focus shot and step in, and that's kind of the, the reveal, is that I, as I clarify out of the, the fogginess of uh, completely out of focus, Boca, it turns out to be me, and I need to make sure that I don't step a little too far and go back out of focus. And so. So that's very useful for that. It's sitting on top of uh, my Calvin and Hobbes Uber collection. And as you can see here, I have a little string of LED lights that these are the variable control color ones that you can sort of swing around into all sorts of different hues. And these are super fun and very useful for, um, you know, amateur filmmaking and even real filmmaking. I actually, these very lights I just used on a, a short film that I was visual effects supervisor on to provide light from a, a computer monitor that wasn't actually there. So very cool, cheap from Ikea. Go get some, they're fun. Uh, Alright, so how does the rest of this work? Alright, we've got a green screen and you can see it's extremely green back here. My iPhone is struggling to keep up with this uh, this color. This is kind of a fun little story because uh, I you can find uh, on eBay, uh, out of Hong Kong, uh, lots and lots of LED products and um, they've got these really fantastic little square high-powered ones that uh, when you get them in bulk they're just a couple bucks each, so really, really cheap. And I got really interested in the green ones. And so I made this sort of stick, which is like a, uh, it's about the size of a, a yard stick, but a little thicker on, on the top of which I've, uh, I've mounted. I'm gonna turn this off for a moment so you can see it. Uh, just a, a piece of metal that's working as basically a heat sink. And then all these little guys are um, screwed on there and, uh, and have some, some, yeah, the same stuff you'd, uh, you'd put uh, under your processor, this um, sort of thermal paste stuff, basically, to help uh, conduct it in there and distribute that heat. And then I'm going to just sort of a store-bought power converter that's putting out the right voltage for these kinds of things. Um, so that's what's lighting the green screen. Not right now, because I turned it off, but it was. And then up here, now we get into the lighting. The Once the screen is lit, now all the light that's for me, we try not to hit onto the green screen, which is pretty easy. We're coming from the side or going forward. Um, and I'm just trying to match the, the color and intensity of the lights that were on set, which is a set I've never been to. This is a parking lot we're talking about that Alex and Nate shot in, which I've seen lots of footage of because I've seen their whole fight scene, and I know exactly what I'm trying to match, but uh, I just have to take a, take a shot at approximating it. So 
bright light up ahead, this is actually another one I made in the same fashion as that with lots of more white colored uh, LEDs put together running down and in this case I'm, I'm going to a variable uh, power supply. Oh, everyone should have one, yes, so much fun. Um, and then of course from the sides we've got a big old yellow light and another big old yellow light. This one's bouncing off the door because I, it's too close to me to it would be really really harsh and so I'm using the door as bounce here and on these are these are more uh, nice. Every, every, an odd little point of pride is that every light in this setup is an LED light. There's, when you're in your own living room, one of the big problems with all these, you know, halogens and, and big movie lights is that they produce a ton of heat. A ton of heat. And that is very uncomfortable. So LEDs produce very, very little heat and makes things very, very easy to work with. And they're nice and consistent and low power and they're super duper cool. So. These two yellow ones are a pair that I uh, bought from, um, let's see, another website that's, it's, it's, it's all from Hong Kong. It's all from China. Um, got some gels on here, just turning this stuff extremely warm, just very, very yellow. I got a filter set um, pretty cheaply from Film Tools, and I'm using those. And that's really it. It's, it's all about getting that warm light from the sides. You're not really getting a good impression here on the phone, but, uh, but you'll see it in the shot. And so... Um, so that's going on. We got that big light here, and then we're going for it. So, all right, I'm going to now uh, take a shot at this and try to uh, see if I can get a performance I like. <laughs> we'll see how it goes from there. So, hope you enjoyed this little tiny look behind the scenes, and uh, I hope this little cameo actually works out at the end of Alex vs. Nate 2, and very soon we'll be on to me actually being in uh, Nebraska to uh, to film Alex, excuse me, to film Ryan versus Nate. So, all right, we will catch you later. <laughs>